Greetings, my sister, and greetings, the elder. Uh, I'm Diana Kimball. I'm from Colfax, Louisiana. And my main reason is here because of my ancestor, my fifth generation grandmother, great, 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 great grandmother. The story was passed down. She was taken, she was on the ship looking for fabric, and they took off with her. And she never saw a family again. And she passed down that she always wondered about her children. So I'm back. I snatched my own self, took my, brought myself back for my grandmother to check on my cousins. And so my cousins are fine. I have a family up in Tamale that I met in the U.S. So I have a great family up in Tamale. I'm here in Prom Prom because I love the water. I was very lucky in finding someone to share a house with. I have no horror stories. My horror stories is in the U.S. My ankle broke. In Lafayette, Louisiana, they put too much metal in my leg and for my ankle. So for four years, I've been in pain, still in pain. I go to the doctor here in Tamale, in Ghana, and he tells me I can take it out. So the medical care here in Ghana is better than the U.S. for me. So they are taking care of me with that aspect, um, taking care of the blood pressure issue with a pill and diet. There's a dietitian in the hospital that will talk to you and tell you what you need to be eating to keep to be healthy, to build your bone, whatever. So they have the greatest medical care here. You just have to search. This one is in Tema, International Maritime. I have a set of new teeth. My dentist is in here. <laughs> Didn't cost a fraction of what's in the U.S. I got new glasses, a fraction of what's in the U.S. So all of my medical needs are taken care of. I don't have to go back to the U.S. to do anything. As long as that ATM work, I'm good. All right. All right appreciate you. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? And I'm retired. I'm, I'm in the 70s club. I'm over 70, so. All right, so now uh, can you share an introduction of how we met? <laughs> oh, yes, Brother Kamadi, through Kiti Awadu. Yes, my bro uh, good brother yes. Kiti. Yes, Kiti came Chef to Kiti. my hometown, Kujichagalia Village. I was one of the Kujichagalia Villages in Louisiana. And so through Chef Kiti, um, going to live forever, Kiti. <laughs> so I've known Kiti a few years, met him several times. And uh, um, so I saw him with the money. So are oh, you talking about on our Ghana trip and like on uh, your Ghana trip? Because uh, we did like Ghana, 2007, uh, eight, and nine. Yeah, yeah. He because he was sharing the photos. I've heard, saw you on this program, heard you on this program, and recommending it for other people. And other people have come because I can't host anybody and give nobody a tour. I'm like her. I'm here to enjoy my life. I'm not trying to change anybody. I get along. I love this village. I get along with everybody. So I have no horror stories. Wow. So you guys are not going to get into the tour business? <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll leave that to you. You're doing a good job. I no, appreciate you. <laughs> uh, okay. My daughter came last year. I was, I've was. i been here a year straight. April 1st, a year straight without going back. And I'm the one that don't know how to act about the vaccine. I'm a non-vaxxer, so I can't go back because I haven't talked myself into acting right when somebody tells me they're going to jab me. And I will clown. And I don't want to clown. I'm too old for that. But anyway, uh, yeah, Kitty is our folks. I finally get to meet him. Been seeing him coming back and forth for, what, 10 years now? More uh, than 10. 16 yeah. years uh, yeah. as of this year. And so we, we never met. This is our meeting place okay. here at at, uh, at the wall. Well, appreciate you, my sister. So you take care. Okay, and, and we'll, also, yeah, I'm we'll a member connected. of the African American Association of Ghana, and that they have been very helpful. They go family, so you know, join and support and connect. Yeah, so connect with them when you come, and you'll find out everything. WhatsApp is the place to be. Can I just say one other thing? Sure, absolutely. Because yeah, I think this is very important. Look. When the United States uh, acknowledged that uh, pandemic, Ghana got about 31 million people. They was lucky to have 2,000 people with that COVID, and most of them were sent home. We didn't have it like over there. We didn't, did we wear masks, y'all? We in here partying, every, a room full of people. We didn't, you know, drop dead because of COVID. Those, those diseases in the West are in the West, like the monkey pox they got over there now. You see what I'm saying? We're not, I said, we're not, we don't have all this, all this here in Africa. 
don't you know don't believe all the lies they've been promoting for centuries about Africa. We're fine here. We wasn't wearing a mask. Maybe if you go into the mall, they were require it, but most of the time we wasn't wearing masks at, at all. So I just think that's important to know. Africa is Africa, and it's our Africa. And and we and we must remember that it don't belong to to the white man and the white woman. It never did. And I think we should come back and build Africa instead of putting our money over there in the United States and we get zero back, we get nothing back. And you know we don't. You can look at the neighborhoods over there. Nothing's changed. Education system in, in Philly or D.C. and our children. The 19 children just got killed. Something's wrong with that. And we meet a lot of Ghanaians who lived in the United States but came back to live here in Ghana because they said they can't handle that violence. But they don't have that here. They don't have it here. They have communities here, neighborhoods here. So I just want to, you know, let you know that. Just, you know, if you want to come home, come home. There's nothing to be afraid. Of. You should be, you should be afraid to go back. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. you should be afraid to go back. Yes. Right. You don't know. So you, she said ATM. Do you have? Did you bring your money over here and put it in the bank? Right? No, you don't want to do that. Leave your money in United States Bank. Like I got Bank America, and I do my online banking. Mm -hmm. I do international tra uh, wire transfers as well, so I can just transfer my money to the bank here. Okay. Easy. ATM machine is easier. Okay. You got money in the United States, go to ATM machine, but you'll get Ghana money. Right. Yes, yeah, true. I mean, we got everything y'all have over there. Okay. But the most amazing thing I seen here was black. I mean, Africans surfing on the ocean. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before in my life. Africans on the surfboard, right. surfing on the ocean. I think, wow, wow, it's amazing yeah. when you see our people doing, doing things that's not advertised. Yeah. You know? You're so scared in America about swimming. They swim and swim well. And exactly. Well, you know, we wasn't allowed to live near the oceans anyway, you know. Yeah, so, you know, but here, I mean, and they don't, they don't use their beaches for resorts. They worship water. They worship. They don't call it the ocean. They call it the sea. Uh, you see what I got on? You can't wear clothes up, like up here. You can't have your breasts hanging down. They're gonna come to you and they're gonna wrap you with something. Thank you. Or take you to a hospital because they think you pretty. So they say you know your appearance is close to God. You don't see uh, public. Uh, they don't publicize affection, holding hands, kissing in public. They said that's all next to God. This is the this is a civilization here. That because Africans know that the cornerstone of civilization are people. The Europeans say it's money. That's why that thing is falling apart right now because they they the, their foundation is money. So here it's about people here, and these people will help you. I, I'm, I'm telling you, they will help you. Let them hear you say, "Oh, I'm thirsty." Somebody gonna bring you some water to drink. I'm telling you, I love it here. I'm not going back there. <laughs> Anybody I know die, I'm them here. That's the best I can do. Oh, appreciate you. That was be well, beautiful, you. strong energy. There you go, family. Come thank home you. to the motherland and let's nation build. That's right.